figured I'd give a little update. I know this might be a shock, but this is what's left of the RX-7. Um, as you can see, it's been wrecked and parted out for the most part. Um, you can see the damage over here. The fender was ripped off. I took the bumper and hood off. The hood was still good. This side's messed up. Basically, what happened was, I was coming home from work one day, allegedly, and the uh, I had fixed a few, few boost leaks, so I decided to um, floor it and get a log and figure out what the boost level was now. And I turned the boost down a little bit, and basically the crank balancer broke off the front of the motor bounced under the car and as you can see the subframe's got a little bend in it right here um it might be hard to tell in the video but it's kind of bent up like that and bounced under the car hit the oil pan busted out the oil pan and coated the tires with oil and it sent me off into the woods i bounced off some trees um, luckily, I didn't get hurt at all. First hit. Tire dug in right there. Stopped right here. all the way past my truck. Um, this is the worst hit right here. Um, I hit this, I kind of spun around and then hit this side too. So it, it pretty much demolished every side of this car. There's really no fixing it. I mean, as you can see, it's bowed in right here. Um, the interior's in good shape. I've parted out everything but the interior basically. And a guy's coming to get the car today to tow it back home and use the interior in another car. Because, uh, Overall, it's pretty clean. I vacuumed all the glass out of it. It busted out both windows. Um, so that is the update on the RX-7. She is no more. Um, this is several months later that I'm filming this. Um, and believe me, I'm very sad about it, but it is what it is. I didn't get hurt. And what's happening is, is I'm building the shop over here. It's gonna be a 30 by 50. Um, or obviously, I've already got the pad poured. Waiting on them to build the building. Um, the pad was poured 5224. Um, right now, I'm just using it as a parking space for all my stuff. Um, so it's a 30 by 50 here, and then on this side, there's a 12 foot lean to that goes all the way back so I can park my truck and trailer right here and then have all this open space for uh, whatever I need. My red truck, which is under the gray cover right there, 
um, is sitting roughly where the lift will be. It'll be over a little bit further this way and uh, back. It's I put it 13 feet off the wall and then the first post will start um, six feet off of this wall to give me room to get axles out or whatever I need to do. Um, but I can't wait to have this thing going. I've worked in the driveway for years and I'm getting too old, 35. I'm getting too old for that mess. So this is a, a huge step. Um, hopefully it'll be three or four more weeks and uh, they'll have it done. The uh, Fairmont's under this cover here. Um, I'll try to do some videos in the future on this if y'all are interested, those who still want to watch anything. But um, took it to the track the other day, had a few issues um, and mostly my fault. Main thing was is these bald drag radials. As you can see, I didn't notice until I unloaded it off the trailer. They were so bald and I told Stephanie that this thing's probably going to spin and that it did. I did the sloppy third gear mod on it where um, it's got an ADE in it and it'll do, it'll hold third gear on the line until I let off, off of a button and it shifts to first and then leaves and it spun really bad and never could get a good launch out of it. Um, I'll put the videos up of, you know, at least what it did. Nothing really impressive. The car has ran a 10 1 at 140, um, and it was uh, basically leaving on like an idle foot brake thing. Um, and so I, I really feel like the car can run, you know, 970s ish on a, on a decent day. So that's what we're going to try to do eventually. But I figured I'd give you guys an update on what's going on. Got a lot going on. Hopefully, be able to do some more in the future.